Hello everyone and namaste. In this video I wanted to show you guys what my altar looks like. Fortunately uh, my altar is not just only a table with my spiritual items on it. It's actually my whole bookcase which is quite large. Um, I'm standing on a stool right now. <laughs> Anyways, so what I have on my altar is my Buddha. Um, I really don't worship a god or goddess. Um, I feel like the god and goddess is a part of me and um, the characteristics that are inside of me, the archetypes. So I really don't worship a god or goddess. So I don't have one on top of my altar. And I don't worship the Buddha either, but um, to me the Buddha symbolizes um, a sense of compassion and love and um, meditation and inner inner strength and um, diving within oneself to um, regulate your emotions and stuff like that. So that's the reason why I have him as the centerpiece on top of my altar is to remind me of that. And as you can see, he's holding a branch, which I had found um, outside, and I thought that it was a great element of the nature-loving aspect of myself to put that in there. Um, over here, I have my Book of Shadows. I had done a video on that before. If, um, if you want to check it out, you can and see the inside of it. But that's where I keep it at whenever I'm um, not using it. And then I have my cauldron, and I do a lot of work with that. And the box over to the left is actually um, my memory box, where I put all my stuff that I want to remember, like places I've been, stuff like that. I actually have um, three, three or four boxes now just full of uh, memories and stuff. And this one's actually quite new. Um, my bill right here that has the ohm on it is a uh, incense burner, which I use candles more than I use incense. Um, seems like incense is quite strong and um, I have a very sensitive smell and gives me a headache very easily, even on the lightest incense that I've been able to find. So I use candles a lot. Over here, I have what I put my water in when I'm doing my rituals. Um, it has um, earth, air, water, fire, and spirit. And when I'm not using it, I put my feathers in there, which is what I, I pour out the feathers and put the water in when I'm doing my rituals, and I have my feathers in my rituals as well. Um, I have two sets of mala beads. I got this set, um, I got this one when I went to a um, Tibetan Buddhist uh, sacred song and uh, sacred dance ceremony that was uh, done here locally. And then I also have this one, which I use both of these very, very frequently. Um, and then I also got the um, Eternity Knot, the Buddhist Eternity Knot at the Sacred Song and Sacred Dance um, for Tibetan Buddhists. This is my wand that I use the majority of the time. I have other ones that I've used in the past that I use occasionally as well. And, but this one is the one that I just absolutely love it. I love every single thing about it and so it's really stuck with me. It's my favorite one that I've ever made. I find rocks everywhere so I'm always picking up rocks. Um, this one I had found when I went to Colorado and we were up in the mountains and I would just seen this very top part sticking out and I thought it was so beautiful and I dug it up and I, oh my gosh, like I can't tell you how much I love this, this rock. Um, it has definitely been one of my most favorite pieces out of all of my rituals. It, it to me it's, a sense of um, strength and uh, connection with the earth and a sense of protection. Every single time I put it in my rituals, I know that I'm going to be safe within my circle because um, 
I don't know. It, it's just something about it. I, I can't, I really can't explain it. It's just, um, it has a very powerful energy connection for some reason. I have my feathers that I always have on my altar. Um, and there's eight feathers because eight is my favorite number to me. It represents affinity. I have my opal frog, which is very pretty. Um, I feel that fro a frog is my uh, one of my spirit animals, so I think that it's um, very helpful with my rituals as well, which I always um, take down and always, I always put down on the floor when I'm doing my rituals. Over here, I have my stone dragon. Um, I had seen this dragon at one of my local pagan shops, and when when I seen him, I just absolutely fell in love. Um, I knew that I had to have him. He was quite expensive, but definitely worth it. Um, I use him during every ritual, and he's my um, part of my ritual that represents fire. Over here, I have, um, here in the back, they are geodes that I had gotten at the Renaissance Festival. Um, they actually opened them up, uh, cracked them open, and opened it up right in front of me, which was absolutely amazing to see. And um, this is smoky quartz. Here in the back, I have a candle holder, which is Himalayan salt, that, and you put the candle inside of it. Here in the back, I have a black candle that I had made, and um, I have some sticks that are back here that um, I thought was just very beautiful and wanted to incorporate into my rituals. Um, then I have my mortar and pestle, and then here in the very back, it's lit up really bright right now, but um, it's Himalayan salt also. It looks just like that when it's not lit up. Um, and then this right here is my deck of tarot. Up above my altar, I have a forest goddess um, artwork done. And over here to the right of it, I have drawings that have that's been done by a local artist. I'll put the name of all this artwork um, down in the description below. And then this one is done by the same artist. 